Welcome back live at Drew's house, another edition. Hope you're all doing well. We are flying through the fall. It's getting chilly out there. I'm a wimp, I know. Uh, music show today from our Newburyport studios here, the NCM Hub Studios. You know how much I love these days. Our guest today, Lou. All right. See, I wear my sunglasses so I don't have to see my fears. And I make sure when I scream, you won't need to hear. I don't sit in the middle of the road no more. I don't need the cane just to make me a hero. I just want to be in this moment in my life. I just want to stay a while And I need that gem all my life That every sucker needs in his paradise And that I'll be mine And I'll be mine I'm no longer in the darkest pit of the ocean in which society is always drowning in. I don't need a boat to get me across the surface anymore. And the best part is I don't need a pen at all to write down my thoughts. Cause I just want to be in this moment oh, in my life. And I just want to stay a while, want to stay a while. And I need that gem oh, in my life that every sucker needs in his paradise. Oh, that I'll be in mine. I think I'm starting to show. Oh, no. I think Drew is starting to show. Oh, da, da. Well, I think we're starting the show. Ooh. And I think we're starting. Thanks, homie. I appreciate that. Lou, welcome back to the Newburyport Studios. Good to be How back. are you, man? It's good. It's so good to be back, man. Yeah, I know. I've been looking forward. I was so bummed out about, about last week and everything. So I yep. was like, dude, I I've been at, when we when you first reached out to me, I was like, I was just trying to send out music. Whenever <laughs> whenever I release new music, I just send it to all like my friends, musician friends too. Oh yeah. And um, you were like, hey, let's get you on the show, and I was like, oh my god, yes, yeah, <laughs> I love it, I love it, because it's just fun. Oh, we appreciate it. It's like, a, it's like the a therapy enthusiasm. session. It's like I don't get out much, so oh, it's yeah. like it's good to talk. I should start charging. Like a therapist, that'd be good. <laughs> you should. <laughs> a little side gig. Go to therapy with Drew. That'll be good. Oh man, how you been? I've been great, man. Good. I've been busy, 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 busy. Yeah. Bee. Talking off the air, you're writing a lot. You said writing, like yeah, like crazy, like uh, I mean, with all the gigs, because I do everything myself. So I'm doing booking. I do gigs constantly, yeah. like Thursday to Sunday. I'm just gigging like crazy. Um, and then I just write and promote, and I'm just I'm writing more like crazy, and I I'm really happy with the stuff I'm writing because yeah. it's like on a different level for me like the, the lyrics are there the chords are there the instruments there and when you do it all yourself too like you lay it all like the bass the drums and you master it and record it it's like the most rewarding puzzle to finish yeah you yeah. know what i mean it's like oh i did that that's so cool that's so cool so it's i'm like really your, excited it's like your little baby that's yeah good. it yeah. is like my little baby yeah. yeah for sure for sure well that's fun man good so yeah. you're are you still up in uh, new hampshire you new live hampshire. There? oh yeah, yeah. Cow, cow hampshire cow as my, hampshire as my, yeah. as my uncle used to call it uh, i don't know yeah. what he was referring to but we do have a lot of cows though we do a lot of milking up there there's enough cows yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely compared to mass <laughs> that's good but playing all around of course always i always yeah. play either in new hampshire mass um maine and vermont those are like my three like places i used to 
to be called Lou NH Music, but now I'm going to be dropping the NH because it's like it's yeah. everywhere. Just Lou. Just Lou. Just, just Lou. Lou. Yeah. L U Lou. L U. Love and, <laughs> love and unity, man. <laughs> Very good. Is that what it actually is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It started off, you know, it started off when I was in a college party. And because I, I used to, that's where I, I, that was my stopping ground. That's kind of where I really knew I wanted to be a musician. I mean, I, I did before that, but. Just college was, playing? Yeah, college playing. What like, campus? Uh, Plymouth State. I was okay. at Plymouth State University and I would. I would play, or I was that kid that always pr- brought his guitar everywhere. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I started a band on the first day of school because, like, people saw me with the guitar and I was singing, street performing, doing that thing. Yep. And people, I ended up forming a band. And then after that, I started doing, um, like, solo acoustic stuff. And I did, like, my first solo gig and I was doing the looping stuff. I, for those of you that don't know, I do, I'm like a one man band. Yeah. So I do, like, the live looping, I do the drums, the bass, and everything. And I don't know, I was just nervous as heck for it. I was super nervous because I haven't really, perf- I never really performed by myself, or at least at that point in a while. So there was like a, I don't know if my friends did it just to make me feel better, but they, yeah. or someone just forgot my name or had no idea who I was. But the whole joke of the night was people were calling me Lou. And at the end of the night, my friend was like, you know, it's like love and unity, man. Yeah, That's yeah. love and unity. And, you you're like, Ooh. and I was like, it kind of stuck with me because I was yeah. like, you know, it's kind of like when Steve-O got his name, you know? He, he wasn't always called Steve-O. It was, it, some dude just said Steve-O on stage, and he was like, I'm going to use that. I'm going to run with it. that. I liked you it. You liked it, it and went with it. I went with the man. That's fun, too. That's a good confidence builder, too, the college campus life. It's funny. I still, oh, we were just talking. You were just mentioning you saw me banging around on the guitar one night, and one, oh, of, my, yeah. one of my buddies, I was at a, a bar recently, he's like, come on, get up here and play that thing. Yeah. It's such a different thing what you guys do, though. Like, I don't want to, after a couple, you know, beverages or whatever you've been doing, tired, yeah. I don't want to run up there during somebody's show yeah. and play my poor man's music, you know? Oh, I, <laughs> see, see, for me, I mean, for some other people, it's different, but I've been, I've been doing this solo thing for so long now yeah. that it's like you've worked up the courage I've, you know but it's like when i see some like if you came up to a show me and, you know and you brought your guitar i'm like yeah. you know take the microphone for a minute you know yeah. let me go get a beer really quick you know let me go refresh and yeah, you yeah. know it, it's fun because i love giving people that spot let them in that minute to, to show their talent to showcase it you know especially that's like, sweet of you guys and you all get a break yeah <laughs> yeah oh which you God. don't that's get like, that's like another thing like i i see some musicians that like take like 30 minute breaks in between a three-hour show and i'm like what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? You're only working three hours of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most of most of you guys don't yeah, know. I yeah, know. Most no, of you guys no. grind. We man. Cr- yeah, yeah, we do. We do. We In do. a good way. But you know, you're enjoying yourself. There's, but so, there's so much that goes into it. You know, yeah. it's like my family. They never get it. They're always like, "You need to get a real job. You need to get a real <laughs> yeah. job." But it's like it, it is like a real job because you're. I'm constantly email. I wake up at every day like eight o'clock. I do my emails. I do my promotions. My social medias. My tags. My links. You are Lou Enterprises. And then I try it. And then I just write. I just I'm like print. I try to write as much yeah. music as I can. Yeah, you know? well, that's good, man. Yeah. yeah, he write. He's still he's releasing music after the even after, after, after death. I, you know? I know, I love that man. I do too. <laughs> you know, he's the guy I always say. I wish I got to see that. I uh, me too. And like I had a chance to. Me too. And I turned it down and went to Maine. Didn't turn it down, but you know how it is. It's you like, were telling it, me that last I, time. I, oh, that story came yep. up. Good. Yeah. Yep. Hey, I've told that story a few times. Oh, man. You know why I tell that all the time? Because it was because it bugs me yeah. like crazy that I didn't get you to see. You want to know him. what's bugging me right now? That, <laughs> what's I, that I didn't go to go see the new uh, the Aerosmith at Fenway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. God! You know how many people showed up? One of my show like so many people showed up on my show with air, the the t shirts. Oh yeah. And I'm like, that's a nice t. Oh my God! Oh my <laughs> yeah, God! Yeah. It's the t- it's the show. So uh, you get another good T-shirt on today. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm doing born. good vibes. I'm, I'm repping. J- I'm representing Jason Mraz. Jason Mraz. Last time I was on, I was representing ACDC. Love ACDC. Yep. Love ACDC and uh, love Bon Scott and uh, me and my fiance. We went to go see Jason Mraz. Uh, this past summer, and I, I, you know, I've been a huge fan of him ever, ever since I was a little kid. You know, yeah, yeah I he's love, a good one. Yeah, really, you said you had a good story. I, it's a pretty decent story. I, I could yeah, hear it. I'll rate it on a one to ten. It's like a six. Uh, but no, he he was a surprise show because he. Um, I went to go see. I was a. Uh, I guess this is post college, living in Boston, um, and like one of the like pop radio stations was doing. Uh, I might have even been working. It might have been like for the CBS family. I might have been working for them at the time. But I remember OAR was a part of it, and I really yep. liked OAR. Like that was a college band for me, and cool. I actually got to meet those dudes one night on a van, which is another story. And they were super sweet. Who's OAR? Like, uh, uh, well, it's of a revolution is what it stands for, but. 
I, let's see, what's the song you might know? Uh, you know like Crazy Game of Poker. And, uh, I think hey I know girl. That one. Okay. And, uh, see, I'm a little. It's funny, man. They're like a really big band, but it's like this small point in time, and I'm a little older than you. Yeah, yeah. So like, it's almost like they, they don't kind of. They didn't quite resonate to so many other uh, generations underneath, I guess. But uh, they were huge when I was in college. Okay. A monstrous band, uh, and to the point where like they literally picked people after the show and said, "You come up, you come up." And the girl I was watching the show with was like, and I was like, "I'm pretty sure they weren't talking to me." <laughs> but the security <laughs> guy, security guy, was like, "Go, go, go!" So we went on like their van. No way. Yeah, and they were like crazy sweet. So I'll will forever be an OAR fan. Wow. But we were going to see OAR on the uh, on the uh, Boston uh, come the Hatch Hill okay, for, yep. for one of those shows. And uh, OAR played and they were cool and everything. And we decided we were going to stick around because they said a special guest was going to show up. And we're not going to tell you who. It's not going to be who. Oh, I'm damn. looking through my phone. Who else is in Boston? Yada, yada. Jason Mraz came up for a set, which I thought was uh, very cool. And he was great. I really enjoyed him. He was awesome. I, I'd be running up. I'd be running yeah. up front. I, that's what I was trying to do when we were seeing them live. I was trying to ease my way up. <laughs> yeah. Meadowbrook, they're really tight with their security. Yeah. So, but I, we did get good seats, and it was funny because someone just gave them to us. We just someone just gave them. To, they're like, "Hey, we know you're a big, you know, Mraz fans." So. Oh no, kidding. Yeah, he's it, a super talented guy. His voice. Yeah. I, it, it kills me when people are like, "Oh, he's a one hit guy. He's a pop." Guy. Oh yeah. No, it's no, like no, 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 no. no. Yeah. If you listen to his albums, like, I mean, his new one, uh, is it uh, Good Vibes? <laughs> is that the, that's not the new one, is it? It's good vibes or something, something like that. Oh, okay. It's something, but it's so good. It's like all reggae and like the guy who produced it worked with like Bob Marley and all these reggae guys, and it's like, it's like old Mraz, but with like a little spice to it. And gotcha. I, I, I love it, dude. I love it. You know what's a good thing I liked with him? Um, I was really digging that. Uh, it's kind of where I stole the name for this show when I started doing the live at Drew's house. You ever see live at Daryl's house? Yes, a yep. cool show. And yep. Mraz is on that on one of those episodes, yep. and you kind of get a little. Outlook into how he thinks, which oh, is why I always guy. like that. Yeah. He's a great guy. He has an avocado farm. When we went to go see him, they had bags, and if you got merch from him, it, the the bag had Mraz Family Farm. Oh on no, it. kidding! Yeah, I have it framed in my music room. <laughs> what a fun <laughs> fact! Let's take that fun fact and go one more right into Lou here, because I know right. uh, uh, I know you've been writing see. like crazy. You might as well right. play him, right? <laughs> You know, that's the other thing, too, because, like, I've been writing so many new songs, but they're all not acoustic. They're all, like, oh. with electric guitars and band. It sounds like a full band. So are you stripping them down here, so, or, what no, are you, well, or are you just playing other stuff? So I'm playing, like, some old – well, this this Look At You one I just did, and I have notes on it because this is my first time playing on the acoustic guitar. Yeah. Because I was, like, it's on a piano, and there's, like, backups, and it sounds like a gospel choir and Ooh. everything. It's really cool. It's really cool. So <laughs> some of these ones are going to be, like, my first time playing these I actually, like, live. Wow. <laughs> is that this one? Yeah. Oh. Well, no pressure. <laughs> Live at Drew's house. This is Lou. Hallelujah, say amen. I feel that good when I hold your hand. Hallelujah, say amen. I feel it's good to be your man. So how would I know our love wouldn't be this good? I'm getting chills. Just thinking about I want to ring the bells, I want to tell the news It's crazy for me to feel this good is going on Kiss me growing strong And it doesn't need the sunshine When I see your eyes Light up in front of mine How would I know I love with Say amen. I feel it good when I hold your hand. Hallelujah. Say amen. I feel it's good to be your man. Well, ooh, look at you. You're so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. I want to kiss you, and I know it's cliche. To be that romantic in that cheesy way And you You made me feel like a kid You made me a dream all again So I said hallelujah, say amen I feel that good when I hold your hand 
Hallelujah, say amen. I feel it's good to be your man. I can't believe I did that in the morning, man. <laughs> oh Lou, nice Woo. Woo. Very nice. Lou on Chop Afternoon Drive. I appreciate that. Live appreciate at that. Drew's Oh, my God. House. I was so nervous about that one because <laughs> I was like, I don't know how this is going to go first thing in the morning because that's all falsetto. Yeah. Oh, man. I love that song. That's funny. This, so have, have you done that acoustically uh, at all? I never. Never? Never. That was the first time ever. That no I kidding. always do it on the piano because it goes, it's like, it's all like stabs on the piano. All and right. then it's like, there's like a kick. Like you didn't even write it with the guitar. Sometimes oh, people, no, no. wow. I right. play, see, sometimes, like, I always try to switch up my music. So I always, when I write a song, I always not try to do something on the guitar because it gets kind of like, yep. you get the repetitive thing going on, and that's good after a while when you yeah, bring yeah. so many songs on the guitar you're like all right i need a I need, <laughs> I need to look at a piano so you sit at a piano and then you, you get a whole different book it's yeah. like you're getting a whole different a puddle you're kind of getting into so. so first instrument is the guitar second instrument's piano yeah and then, so you get the springsteen story yeah because springsteen writes a lot of his songs on the piano oh no kidding which is not his natural instrument i've never either. seen many in uh, interviews yeah. with bruce springsteen but i hear he's a really good guy and really yeah, like really uh too. really was it um multi-instrumentalist yeah I mean, he he does a uh, solo show and he plays. He play, I yeah. remember he used to do the, do the Devils and Dust tour. It was the first show I saw him solo, and he played a lot of instruments: yep. ukuleles, pianos, organs. Um, it was cool. But yeah, he, I remember hearing an interview with him, and, and he talked about writing on the piano. And it's funny you mentioned that because on on the ride here, I always I was trying to do like a mock interview. Oh, <laughs> mock interview. Oh God, I implode. Uh oh, my oh you lost the headset. I lost the headphones. That's all right. On a you know how to fix it. There we go. We're back. We're yeah. back. <laughs> but on the ride, I was trying to. Um, I was trying to do a mock interview, and I was like, "What? What do I do? Like, when I write my music, do, why do I always not write it on the guitar?" And it's like, because mm -hmm. anything, anything inspires me. Anything, yeah. like a sound, it could be a synth, bass, drums, guitar, ukulele, anything. Once I hear something and it kind of sticks with me, I'm like, I'm gonna make a song with that. I got to. I got it because I'm gonna be thinking about it constantly. <laughs> What's the name of that last one? Uh, that was called "Look at You." That was called "Look at You." Could have guessed. Just didn't yep. want to get it wrong. Yep. Um, you never know. Sometimes song titles. I always are... like the catch. Right now, I'm doing the catchy. Like I always try to get a catchy chorus that gets stuck in your head. Oh, okay. That's always like. That's always key. good. Yeah. 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 The uh, that had a um, another one of my favorites. That had a, a little bit of a Dave Matthews feel to it. A lot of Dave yeah, Matthews stuff yeah. in recent yep. years, yep. Is, uh, especially with that high pitch. I, thanks for going for it in the morning too. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate I mean, that. Yeah. I mean, it's a morning. I'm now. It's morning for a musician. It's not. I know most of you are like, what I was talking about? It was the sun is shining brightly. And it no, was this so is early for a musician. Trust me. It was so funny because I go to I go to the gas station and I'm going to get gas and next thing you know my alarm goes off in my back pocket and I'm like and everyone looks at me and it's like going off and like. <laughs> And everyone is talking. I'm like, I'd be getting up at this time. That's crazy. <laughs> this is an after afternoon show, folks. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, yeah, no. I mean, it's a it late is, one for me. Is that? Do you ever? Is that a tough? Uh, I, I mean, I know you're used to it at this point. But do you? Is that? What's like the toughest part? Because that is people to underestimate that. I think that whole life cycle of working oh the god. late nights. Yeah. Oh my god. And it, I think that as I get older, as I get older, I'm starting to get more of a morning bird than a late night kind of guy, late, like yeah. a night owl. You'd rather and play the 4 p.m. gig. I, no, I'd actually <laughs> like to do 11 a.m. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I like the 11 a.m. because You want brunch. I do because it's yeah. fun. Everyone's waking up, and I like doing that kind of like Jason Mraz, kind of like light acoustic stuff and everything, and it's yeah. fun, and it's a great way. It's challenging. It's it's unique, and um, when I do the late ones, and, the, you know, like, not 6 to 9. 6 to 9 is great, but, like, I'm talking, like, when I used to do, like, the 9 to like nine to one yeah that's too late those are like i'm coming home <laughs> yeah. at like two o'clock and i'm like yeah i want to sleep <laughs> i mean i got some years like how old are you again i'm 26 i'm 26, 26 yeah. yeah so i got i'm 35 yeah. right so once you like my guys that i go to see if you're playing nine to one that gets rough for me oh i'm like, sure i'm, I'm not sure. i wouldn't call myself lame yeah. but it's but it's kind of late like you I, know, i'm right around that corner man i don't need to be up till one in the morning no, seeing you play no no and it's like i'm even feeling it now like when you know as i'm getting older and you know we want to go we don't even i don't go out as much as i do as i I used to like I don't go drinking or doing any of that stuff I'm gonna yeah. I like to be at home yeah the, I like to be at home I don't need to go out and do all this stuff I'm like really my fiance thinks I'm lazy but I'm 
not lazy. I just, <laughs> I just, I like the comfort of my own home. Yeah. I, I don't need to go out to dinner and, and spend eighty, ninety dollars when I can cook all the food here. I mean, unless there's a musician going, I'm going to be. See, there. I'm like that too. That's yeah. Unless there's I'm music, like. <laughs> music yeah. gets me to go places. Music always does. Which yeah. is good that I'm seeing a lot more places like have more live music, which is which is good. I'm it's seeing great. some places pop up, which I think yep. enough of them shut down during the pandemic. You it's know, sad. We don't, yeah. We don't need uh, we don't need any more of that. But no, the oh. that's the again we're joined here by Lou coming to us from New Hampshire, uh, second time. Second on the time. Show. Second, second time. time guest. It's Big honor. Time. At it's some point, time. you get the uh, SNL jacket or something. Oh, that, uh, sick. I don't know what number that is yet. We haven't got the. Uh, All right. right. All right. <laughs> It'll happen in like ten years. We'll start I'll getting get people. I'll get it framed. I'll put that in the studio as well. <laughs> good. No, it's good to have you back though. Playing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you're doing any repeats. I'd have to go back and think. But I. Uh, I was trying you're, to. You're trying was, not to. I, so the last two I have are repeats because they I, are repeats because like I'm still trying to figure out how to transition these new songs onto acoustic guitar. So I'm like, I even went back and watched the one, and I was like, Oh, did you? Good work. I was like, I can't do that one. See, it feels like a whole new show for me, good, just because it's you know, it's, it's like if you go to if you go to go to see a concert, yeah. you, know, you see hear the same song, and it's a whole different feel to it, right? <laughs> I always try to keep people on their toes. Always, <laughs> always. <laughs> that is good. How has the uh, how's the live light been playing? Is it is it good out there? A good summer, it. good fall. Oh man, this summer's been insane. Believe it or not, this is like the first summer after I would say the pandemic officially. Are you still counting this? We're all, we're almost through October. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is I'm no s- longer summer, my I friend. I still count it summer <laughs> because you want to know what's weird is no snow. Usually this time is like when it slows down for me like i start you know i'll look at a day job or something like that and really kind of, yeah. yep you know something like that just to keep me busy but like i'm still going strong and it's yeah it's weird but i'm very blessed because i really took a hit in the pandemic and because this is all i do for work yeah um so i mean and and during that time i've not only just done gigs so i'm not just doing gigs anymore i'm starting to write music for like people like people just hit me up and like yeah, yeah. hey my fiance and i are getting married i'd really like it if you could write us a song and oh really you know and they give me a couple things about them and i write them a song and you know and they play it at their wedding and it's it's something it's a niche and I didn't think I would actually be doing it, but I've been doing a lot of it recently. Really? <laughs> yeah. And they're and they're good. You like yeah, them? Yeah. There, there was this one I did. It was called Jennifer, and it was like, Oh, Jennifer, <laughs> eyes of lavender, dun 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 dun. And they sent me a clip can, of it. And can they, you mix in a little guitar with that? Uh, oh, uh, I did it on the piano. <laughs> oh, <you did> that. <laughs> I did it on the piano. That's beautiful. See, when I'm in the studio, I always try to do like different stuff because you know. And I always ask the clients like, What are you looking for? Like, yeah. You know. And I always say because I can do cello, I can do strings, I can do acoustic and do electric i can do piano and they you know when it comes to weddings piano yeah. is like i want piano and, ch- and cello and strings so it's usually always doing that gotcha, stuff. Gotcha. But, uh, they liked the jennifer though yeah the jennifer they loved it dude they loved it and it was funny because i was telling i was looking at my um fiance and i was like how do you think about this song and she was like that's a lumineers song oh yeah and i was like it, it should be i should yeah. sell it to them <laughs> is jennifer a combination of jen and, and like the ben it was, affleck is it jen and ben or no it's it just jennifer because he just said my my fian- my wife's name is jennifer and if you can just write a song with her name in it about her okay yep she likes the smell of lavender you know she she likes purple so okay. I, I was just trying to like go down and throw you know throw it all and make it all the hardest part was trying to find a word that rhymed with jennifer yeah that was like okay jennifer uh, what were you I, what were you battling around i was like i don't know uh, lavender that was <laughs> that's first. the only one jennifer <laughs> yeah. eyes of lavender yeah. you know like something like that but i'm like she doesn't have purple eyes but i mean like <laughs> <laughs> but they loved it so i mean but i just do i do all sorts of stuff so yeah, i good. i want to start writing songs for like movies and tv shows and radio so if you guys ever yeah. need some songs for your <laughs> i can give you guys a catchy song what do you do when do you get like the couple too that will say can you incorporate both of our names for the, absolutely, for the wedding absolutely absolutely what's an example of that um uh oh Jesus. Um <laughs> Or should I just hit you with mine? Should I just hit you with Drew and yeah, Drew, Drew, Drew and Sarah? There Drew and Sarah. Um <laughs> Pressure, sorry. Uh, it's like obviously you love Sarah, so obviously I'm gonna mention something about Drew loving Sarah. So and Sarah you just rhyme it with something with Sarah, because <laughs> I'm gonna do yeah, like <laughs> Well Drew loves Sarah. Never know tomorrow if you gonna live or die. So just stay my hand, Sarah. I will do my best. I'll make sure to be your number one man. Something like Look that, at you know. Him. Like I just try to, and then I might not even use that. So if I'm in the studio, I'll just I'll just sit there with the names and bullet points. R- sing it through it, r- just go through it chug it out <laughs> even if it's cringy i'll just chug through it listen to it what do i like from that 
I like this. All right. I don't like that. Scrap. All right. Redo the song. Throw those in. Keep going. I don't know why you know? I like this game so much. I'm throwing one more at you. All Jeff right. and Ginny. One more. <laughs> Jenny? Ginny, yeah. Ginny? <laughs> Jenny, I want to sip you up like a bottle of gin. Oh, Jenny, you make me feel funny. In a good kind of way. What was Phil? Jeff. Was it Phil? Oh, was Jeff? <laughs> Jeff. That's right, Jeff. Here we go. Something like that, you know? <laughs> it's funny. You know? <laughs> Too good. Jenny, Those I are... like that. Jenny, yeah, I want to sip you low like a gin. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's clever. Yeah, that's it. I like that one. There you go. So we got it. So I might actually use that one. I'm going to go back when I see this. I'm going to be like, all right. That I was, was thinking it. of uh, you were complimenting uh, one of my coworkers there, Jeff Brown from WBZ. That's who I was uh, thinking Jeff. of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was Jeff and Jenny. He just had a wedding in the family, so his daughter got married. So I was hey. thinking of wedding. I figured there you I'd go. throw him a little There you gift. go. There was funny. I just did a wedding uh, last month, and they, it was in Jackson, New Hampshire. And shout out to the couple I just did that for it. Um, it was a great time. Allie, Allie and Mike, I believe it was. Yeah. And um, they got married in Jackson. And I, I, I didn't tell them this, but I, I did Johnny Cash. We got married oh, in yeah. a fever, hotter <laughs> than a pepper a sprout. We got married in Jackson. Nice. And it was so funny because all the people caught it and they were like, that was that was clever. So <laughs> that's yeah. beautiful. I love I love that. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that little experiment <laughs> with Lou there, folks. Getting it really making me work into the, the mind of Lou a little bit. There you go. A little good, well handled on the on the spot. That's yeah, fun. I See, that's what that. I love about the show. You don't, you know, you never know what we, we didn't script you never that. Know what you're gonna get at. <laughs> now. Uh, back to our regular scheduled programming. What do you get next for us? Keep it rolling. Oh, uh, well, let's see. You get a little makeshift set list, oh, don't you? Oh, yes, we do. This is another new one. All right. What do you do? Do you throw down like 12 songs and say, I'm going to pick from these? Or yep. do you do, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly it. So I was actually, you know, you were asking about like doing um, some songs on the radio, giving you guys some. And I was like, I was listening to them and I have a, a spot, like a set list that I just radio tunes that I've written. So I was going through that and be like, I played that one, played that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Th- unplug myself. Thanks for joining us here. Nice afternoon in Newburyport doing a music show with our friend Lou from New Hampshire. Take it away, my man. Got an issue, I think I kinda miss you, but kinda I mean a lot, I wanted to continue. Be an editor, make it a reissue. I'm not crying yet, so I don't need the tissue. Well, I got a love that I just wanna give to you. If you hold me more, I'ma try to kiss you. I don't wanna be under this umbrella. I'm just a fella who wants the weather. I want you, you, you all the time. I don't wanna lose those, those. What we got is fine. Well, what we have here is better than gold yeah. Said I hope that you'd know that I'll never let go now Said I'll never let you go What we got here is better than gold Well, I hope that you'd know that I'll never let go Said I'll never let you go oh. Because the love is an armor vest that I wear around just like Superman. Making sure I protect my lowest lane. We can chill around. Hey, small Mary J. I'm going to hit play. Let's say, cause we can, we can, can, we can watch this love grow, you know. So what we have fear is better than gold. Said I hope that you'd know that I'll never let go. Said I'll never let you go. What we got here is better than gold. Oh, said I hope that you know that I'll never let, never let you go. Said I'll never let you go. Oh, now. So I test this case so perfectly and honestly. I know that she's into me. So need be, I'll get down on one knee. I'm nervous as heck, but she's all well said. After a while, we'll have our own family. Could read her own story about her history Said, I can't wait to have a little one Said, I make sure that I'm the number one So, I said there, so you can expect some Cause wanting enough to give away my whole love And all this love, and all this love Say there's left in the sun Oh, what we got here is better than gold Said, I hope that you'd know that I'll never let go home Said, I'll never let you go What we got here is better than gold 
Nana said, I hope that you'd know that I'll never let you go home. Never let you go. Oh, well, said, oh, I got love I want to give to you. I want to hold it forever. Wrap it up with a bow on paper. You're a golden star that will shine forever. You're so clever. Cook it, you work. That's what you like with the dinner. You say you miss her and then I kiss her. Well, I close my eyes. Well, I already miss her. One day you'll be a missus and mister. What we got here is better than gold. I hope that you'd know that I'll never let go, oh, never let you go, oh. Oh, that was the first time on that nice. one too. Another that was first tricky. timer. That was tricky more. That was tricky more on the guitar because it's more easy on the piano because it's all just going down step. Yeah, yeah. On that one, I'm like on that third verse where I was rapping. I'm like, oh, I can't. Oh God, there's too much <laughs> happening. <laughs> I kind of I like that on guitar though. That. It came out good, man. Thank you. Nice thank going. You. Thanks. Thank I you. I like you taking chances here on a, uh, taking on a, a Thursday in Newburyport. Risk. <laughs> I was thinking as I was down here, I was like, hmm, should I go street performing after? It's been a minute. That was been a minute. Yeah, yeah, I think you you've mentioned that before. You you kind of dig the street performing. Right? I always that's what yeah. I started doing. That's how I always that's how I really started really performing was street performing down in Newburyport, and I loved it. It was a great time. I met Mike Bernier, I think that way. David Corson that way, I think is how I met all those yeah, cool cats. Yeah, couple guests on the show here. Yep. yep. What, how does that work? Do you have to like carve out a spot? Do you have to like uh, reserve a spot, or you just set up and go? I just set up and go. I mean, there is always sometimes. Usually, I mean. You know, there's a few people that are regular street yeah. performers in that area, and you, you're intruding on my space. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't, you just give them their space. You know, you yeah. let them do their thing. You know, <laughs> I, I never try to, I never try to step on people's toes. You know, yeah, yeah. And I never really had a problem when I was a kid, because so that's when I was doing when I was younger. And yeah. Never, never had. I was cute. That's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> that's I was cute. That talk about that's like putting. We joked off the air. Was that off the air or on the air? I can't remember. We were talking about how I posted something that, and I said it's like I don't know, putting yourself out there. That's really putting yeah. yourself out there. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know, street perform. When you street perform, you're taking a risk because you don't know if. I mean, I remember once I was street performing. I think I said this last time when I was in Boston. Some guy literally kicked my whole guitar case all over the streets of Boston. Yeah, it I was, remember that. It yeah. was so awkward. It was so awkward because I thought it was gonna start a riot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was just sitting there like, peace and love, man. You don't <laughs> yeah. need this, man. <laughs> Who does that? Who kicks a guitar case? Yeah, yeah, honestly, it, it was crazy. It was crazy. Man, that is you know? some anger issues. The, you know, there was this funny. It, that reminds me. That a couple nights ago, I was playing. A Paul Simon song. I forget. I think it was Kodachrome or or um, uh, one of his other ones. And this woman came up to me and she was like, "I love every song you play, oh. but don't ever play a Paul Simon song again." Really? And I oh. was like, "Okay, okay, yeah, yeah noted." Because your opinion's <laughs> very important to me. But I didn't say that. But I was like, "Yeah, yeah okay, thank you." And I'm like. What did I do? <laughs> Yikes, that is weird. I've never had that before. Or what did what did Paul Simon do? What, yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> guess I guess I was actually just reading an article that he had a couple of lawsuits with the song Kodachrome because he oh, mentioned really? Kodachrome or something like that, Nikon and stuff. So oh, interesting. So I didn't they know try that. to. I don't know if I'm. I don't want to say anything, but yeah. I guess there was some <laughs> yeah. lawsuit to do with that. You're like, you how know? do we get down the Paul Simon troubles? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy. Oh man, that's too funny. Again, we're joined here by Lou in our Newburyport studios. I should always mention too, we got Ryan Rothberg producing today, uh, holding down the ship today. Actually, I saw Sarah Hayden, the boss, in there. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Yeah, have you met Ryan before? He probably no, wasn't here no, this, time. this is the first time. He, he sent me right up. He was like, all right, we'll get you right in. Well, let's do a quick sound check, make sure everything's nice oh, yeah. and tight. And I was like, all right, there you go, buddy. He's good. I always say the real work. See, that all happened before I even <laughs> arrived, right? <laughs> See, it's a younger generation, man. I mean, they we come across as lazy, but when we're passionate about something, we work our tails off, man. Yeah. We work inside and out. I mean, yeah. Oof. <laughs> oof. I mean, I see some of the younger people nowadays are working jobs, and I they're working harder than me, and I'm like, calm down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you make us all look bad. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You know. The uh, what is the uh, is is there something about the the anything you're seeing out there in the live scene that you don't like about where where the music's going or where the kids are heading? You're getting a little older now. Uh, you know, I love, you know, I think, I think, you know, the one thing I've noticed is that it's not that I don't like it. It's just more of, um, TikTok is kind of, if I've noticed something with TikTok. Oh, they're all using it. Everyone's using TikTok and it's creating this weird new generation of people that like music and it's people that only like 30 seconds of music. Ooh. It's weird. And it's a thing that I've actually mm. watched a documentary on, on YouTube. If you look at it, search up, um, I think it was like TikTok 30 minute music generation or something like that 30 second music generation and it's just people that just are obsessed with 
30 second songs and there's yeah. these people that are actually that got famous off of TikTok because they posted a song and they're not real musicians yeah. and they're only making 30 second songs and then they're asked to go play at Coachella and they only have like 10 minutes of material really yeah so they're sitting there just being goofy and just like wasting time and wait and it's it's just like but it's people like it you know it's yeah. like there's people that actually enjoy it but then there's people that don't like it because it some would say it's not a musician it's being an entertainer and if that's the case don't be label yourself as a musician but it's a weird niche and something that i'm seeing and i don't i don't like it yeah that I, don't, is weird. I don't i don't i don't it's I don't know. You're not gonna go out of your way to hate on it. But it's a hate, weird thing. I don't hate on music because music's art at the end of the day. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. So if that's the way he wants to display and maybe he's making a statement, then go for it, dude. That's what art's for, you know? Sure. That's what music's for. That does make sense to me though, because those TikTok things, I I, I told you off the air, yeah. I'm still trying to get used to TikTok a little bit. Me now, too. I'm start, starting to sound like the old guy in the in the new in the room right no. now. But it's like it's quick and fast moving, the quick videos and Yeah, like, it's super quick. And you know, it's kinda like there's not much substance like, to it the one is like my 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 money don't jiggle jiggle that one yes yeah, that yeah. blew up i know that blew up and there was people that were coming up to my shows and asked me Requesting do you it? know what the, my money don't jiggle jiggle yeah. and i'm like you you're kidding me yeah. like I, no i didn't say that to them but i'm like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you know and jiggle jiggle it folds let's see wiggle wiggle <laughs> for sure and then it would just make them their day and i'm like but i'm sitting there i'm like what is what is the world coming to? You depressed yourself, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, oh, so man. that's one thing I just noticed with the it's this short it's it's a short attention span. Yeah. That's pretty much what it comes down to. You gotta really grab their attention in like ten seconds. All right. So there you go. I'm glad we went in that direction, actually. That was a good that was a good answer to that. Yeah. Now back to some real music. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting joined here by Lou in a Newburyport studio is nice enough to join us from New Hampshire. Uh, always love uh, playing, playing here. some mix of new stuff, some old stuff. Yeah. Uh, what's what's next? What are you gonna? Oh, yeah, what do you think stuff. next? All right, we're going down the old road. Uh oh, old road. Lou on Jop Afternoon Drive, live at Drew's house from Newburyport. Are you wishing for stars again, or reading between the lines? Are you lost in the chapters and verses, tired hearing of a people's lies? I know that you're not alone. I know how it feels to be in the passenger seat Or to be the one behind the wheel Aren't you tired of burnt bridges? Or things are getting in your path Well, I know, I know how it feels To be lost and to be found again So go on now, take it slow Take us to back so you know You just gotta take it slow Stop looking down at the ropes Go on and now do your best Open your heart with every step It all gets better when you Step away from the rain Go on and now take it slow Take us the back so you know Go on and not take it slow We'll step away from the Where you are lost The troll on the tracks Or you just keep on looking back I know it's hard for you to Try to forgive and forget Well I know, I know How it feels To be lost Or to be found again So Go on and not take it slow Take us to back so you know Go on and now take it slow Stop looking down at the ropes Go on and now do your best Open your heart with every step It all gets better when you Step away from the rain La da 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 Step away from the rain. Woo! Lou on Chapter Afternoon Drive, live at Drew's house. Very sweet. I like that one, man. That's good. Appreciate that. I Appreciate like that. that. A lot. That was about, you know, watch this move. Ready, real quick. 
I thought I could spin it. Microphone 360. <laughs> I had it the wrong way. Oh my god. <laughs> I would have. I would have been so nervous if it just like fell and just. Yeah. No, but these break, are yeah. these are on there. These are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are like next level. These are could probably survive a fallout kind of thing. Yeah. Don't oh scare my, my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you were saying. No, that that song, that song, you know what that's about? That was when I was um, kind of in college and I started really doing the, the music thing like for real. And, you know, when you're when you really start doing a business and you're young and you never really were taught about how to do it and you're just learning it on your on your own, you, you burn bridges, you make a fool out of yourself, you make mistakes, you, you, you fall on the ground, you pick yourself back up again. Yeah. You know, you just kind of step away from the rain. And, you know, as long as you learn your lesson, that's what I always say. As long as you learn something in life, yeah. even if it's a mistake or it's a wrong or your you know whatever it is as long as, as long as you learn from it and you move from it that's what life's about you know there it is so that's what that song's about oh very Step nice away I from like the a rain. explanation this is like the um what's that uh what was that song not storytellers well i guess vh1 yeah vh1 you probably yeah. don't remember that do you remember story i do i do remember uh, that one that was a great one it was, uh, yeah. jack white was on that one i think wasn't uh, he well there's a but yeah they had yeah, a bunch of artists yeah. that was huge that was like a big actually i was kind of young for Jimmy that Page so you was on that too yeah, i think maybe. yeah oh, i love that a lot of great artists vh1 yeah. storytellers you talk about the song and then you play the song mm -hmm. i guess that's kind of what we do yep <laughs> yeah that's yeah. why i kind of like the show <laughs> yeah. i'm not gonna lie I, you know it's it's really it's cool to you know there's a lot of musicians and you see them and you know a, a lot of lo local ones and when they write a good song and stuff like that and when they're working you just kind of wonder what are they thinking about like, yeah what goes on in their head you yeah. know i wonder you there's know? probably some you don't want people to know like maybe yeah. just leave it to yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep you got that right there's some that i'm like hmm all right <laughs> yeah, we'll let the people figure that one when out. i see someone with a goatee i'm a little intimidated that's why i'm like oh god <laughs> and they have the jazz hat going on i'm like uh oh <laughs> the uh well, again we're joined by Lou in our Newburyport <laughs> studio. I was going to make sure I keep saying that. Ryan Rothberg producing today. Sarah Hayden, the boss in the house. Sarah Blackstone is out on assignment. Um, I miss Sarah. I, I, oh yeah, what was the puppy? What was the puppy's name? Did, was my dog here? I don't remember. It was a golden retriever, I think. Oh, no. Oh, that was probably Sarah Hayden's dog. I think it was I think. the owner's dog. Yeah, Sarah Hayden. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't seen that dog in ages. We'll ask Sarah where the dog adorable is. Adorable pup. That was like, the dog's not here very often. That was like a uh, was one adorable. day thing. I was kind of hoping yeah. I was going to see the pup. That's I was, no, it's not an all everyday thing. And I was like walking in. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all new faces. <laughs> yep, no. Hi, how's it going, Sarah? Hi, how's it going? <laughs> we're all, you know, everybody's doing the, uh, but we get we get a bunch of stuff going on. So sometimes we're out on assignment. I'm calling a oh, high yeah. school football game. Uh, Good for you. you know, this is Thursday, so uh, Thursday show. This is a busy. Friday night football, which I haven't done in a long time. Do you watch football? Yeah. I was gonna no. say I didn't know if that was a, no. a Jets or a Levi's. Levi's. Yeah, mom, don't, you mom don't even works wear for Jets. Levi's. <laughs> no, I don't wear a Jets shirt. I don't wear too many team shirts actually. Now that I think about it, maybe I have a Patriots shirt or two. You know, I used to not like sports when I was a kid. Yeah. I only did cross country and track, and I was really good at it. But I just I couldn't get in with sports. Yeah. But as I'm getting older. I find myself getting more into football and the baseball and hockey and like in those kind of probably things. a social thing. But yeah, it's yeah, funny. I kind of got a little less food. In food. Oh, the food. food for a football game. Yeah, food for a football uh, game. Yeah. If you got that chicken queso dip, yeah. I'm there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buffalo chicken dip for me. I like that one. That's so good. Any yeah. kind of dip, I'm there. My wife went vegan. Oh. Sarah, there you go. You can include that in your lyric. Uh, she went vegan, so the buffalo chicken dip does not happen as often. It's I'm sure, but a, they have a good vegan. There's a vegan one. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. it's not bad. It's I've okay. had it. I've had it. But if you're gonna go fully vegan, you ha that means cheese too. Yep. So I mean, sometimes she tells she says more vegetarian because she cheats on cheese sometimes. But um, but yeah, the the vegans haven't, in my opinion, I try to stay away from the opinions, but they Always. haven't mastered the cheese yet. They master the burger. They do. Oh, I agree. Oh my so good. God. It's all of them. Crazy Beyond weird. Impossible. All that stuff. Yeah. It is crazy weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, no, I didn't. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't. I don't care. It is yeah, like you. I don't really try yeah. to share my opinion, but it's one of those things where I was like, when I saw it and I'm seeing how juicy it is, I'm like, all right, now my mouth is watering. Now yeah, I yeah. gotta try it. And I tried it, and I was like, this is this is really good. This you know what I like about the vegan burgers too? They don't like sit in your stomach. Like a, you know. Yeah. I, and that's one thing I've been noticing as I get older. I, burgers don't sit well with me. Red meat yeah. does not sit well with me. I don't know yeah. why. I don't like it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I love meatloaf. <laughs> I love meatloaf. <laughs> I love meatloaf. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. You know what I always love about having you on, Lou? You do the, um, you, every time you come in, you have this, like, very, uh, I can tell you love it. Oh, I love, I, I just, I love life. Yeah, I know. You know. But, but you, you especially love it when you have a guitar in hand and you're singing. Uh, I, it's a comfort It can be to me or to 150 people. Oh, I love it. It's a comfort thing. I knew yeah. when I was a kid, you know, and it was weird because I knew when I was a little kid, I always loved watching people perform and, 
doing all that stuff and it w- I didn't think I was actually going to do it. Yeah. I I always started doing I, I did theater. I did theater for a long time and that's where theater. I Theater. Yes, the theatricals <laughs> and all that stuff and doing Macbeth yeah. and Shakespeare <laughs> oh, nice. and all that stuff. No, we no, I did a lot of shows and 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 when I went through puberty that's when I started going, grabbing the guitar and kind of doing that stuff and when I I don't know. It was just it was just fun because it was kind of like a mend of doing theater and you know when you write your own song you get that kind of achieve like that achievement like you achieve something and and yep. if it's a really good one like I was saying earlier it's like completing a puzzle and it's fun and and when someone's really interested in it it's it and if you write if you're writing songs that mean something too that I can't stress that out enough yeah and when someone's interested in it it's literally like I just because that's my, my only goal to be here is to help people and to teach. You know, because yep. that's what we are as musicians, not just being artists, but being teachers, writing things that no one has the balls to say. Yeah. Pretty much. Well said. Well, you had a little crowd out there today. Actually, we were joking before. I, I it, maybe some of you noticed, like, it's probably hard to tell in the studio, but we uh, sometimes will, if we see like a little crowd, small crowds forming outside, which sometimes happens, we'll bust open the windows and let people hear. Oh, it's nice fresh air. Too. And it is nice fresh air, yeah. So you had a little crowd. I, I, it's always fun for me to peek out and see if people are I'm like are a listening. vampire staying I'm staying inside. <laughs> My fiance, she always tries to get me outside, and she's like, come on, honey. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Get some of your sunlight. I'm like, <laughs> burn. That is funny. Um, but real quick, before I let you go, I don't want to uh, have people. Where can they go? Website or anything for information? Facebook is about. I'm getting a website. I'm designing a website right now. Um, so that's up and running. But you can check me out. Always check me out on my Facebook page. Do the Facebook. Lou, Lou NH Music and YouTube. YouTube. Oh. Just search up Lou NH Music. L U N H. Just so L U space N H Music. Odds are, if you type my name, Lou N H Music or Lou Austin Pratt, which is that's my real name, Austin Pratt. If you type that in anywhere. Yep. Spotify, anything, any social media, you're going to find me. Love and unity. Yeah, love and unity, man. Figure that out today. I don't think that came up on the last time we had you on. Yeah, yeah. You mind uh, playing us out with one, Lou? Absolutely. Take us into the weekend here. You're the take us into the weekend show here. Uh, Big thanks again. Ryan Rothberg producing Sarah Hayden, the boss, Sarah Blackstone, all the great work she does as well. My name is Drew Mulholland. This has been Live at Drew's House. Thank you, Lou. go to my chest I let the ember burn and collect all the ashes I let the pain go to my heart I've had it all in pieces what's left is all I got so don't deplete it and I'll see the sun arise out over the ocean I've heard all this commotion Still no one just knows that I've had this dream since I was a kid That I could supply for my family With everything they need Don't know how, but I'm gonna get there Cause I go down that road to see where it goes Take any turn we see Just to see where it leads We'll break up bad knee chains We'll pack up all the bones Said leave this town So I can try to start over Again. Well, maybe I can save our souls Ooh-hoo-hoo. On to the next city Now pack your bags and leave Now who you trying to be Well, ignore all the questions Keep all of your answers Don't let them in your way What's up ahead? Who knows? But you'll travel a while Oh, look past the broken lies Oh, just to make some more miles Well, tuck yourself in Cause you know you're alone You left everything to be out on your own Well, you're doing good You do it for the family Oh, someday who knows we'll have to pray for you madly I'll go down that road to see where it goes take any turn to see just to see where it leads we'll break up any chains we'll pack up all the bones we're gonna enjoy the weekend because it's coming up soon Ooh, maybe I can save our souls <laughs>